This is Relax Teams, Team Central Jersey. Every Wednesday at 8.30, we come together as a team and as a group to try to grow and promote and share each other's business. One thing I do want to give a shout out for today uh, is that on tomorrow, we will all be at Rare Finds right across from the um, train station there in New Providence. It's called the Murray Hill Train Station, and we'll be uh, uh, cutting ribbons and doing a treasure hunt to find hidden treasures at Rare Finds and hidden treasures, uh, a uh, consignment shop that is uh, awesome. You really have to go and check it out. So first thing, we'll we'll be there on Thursday. That's 12 o'clock on the 26th of May. And with that, um, I'm going to turn the mic over to Paul. All right. Thanks, Dennis. So good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Paul Taubman. My company is Digital Maestro. We're a, a website agency located here in Somerville, New Jersey. Uh, we work with clients all over the country, coast to coast, as well as in six different countries. Um, so today is going to be a little bit different than actually some of the other talks that every. Sorry, wrong button. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. It's going to be different because it's the shortest one ever. So thank you very much. <laughs> Now, uh, what I started to say is going to be a little bit different than what I've done before, and I don't think anybody else has done this. In fact, that in the fact that this is really going to be just a Q and A, right? So last week I asked, asked for some questions. People um, put them in the chat, as well as I did get a couple of emails that came in. So if you don't like the content, you ask the wrong questions. So with that said, um, I'm going to start out with um, there were a couple that were related, and I think George, this was yours when you asked what constitutes a good home page, right? Um, having information on there. And a lot of people think that the home page is the most important page of the website because after all, that's what uh, in the technical world, we call that the root, right? So when you put in mydomain.com and people go there, it's, it's what people see. And the truth of the matter is there have been some experts and I believe this as well, that your home page is actually the most worthless page of your website. Now, you might be thinking, well, that seems kind of crazy because it's sort of the overview and it is. Now, I'm talking about websites that are content rich. They have many pages. I'm not talking about a single one page that you scroll down and you see everything. And the reason why it's considered one of the um, most worthless pages is that you know, when you think about your website with multiple pages, each page is specifically designed for something, right? Your contact page is designed for people to contact you. Your services page may be an overview. You may have a service, individual service page for each individual page. So the likelihood that somebody just stumbles upon your website um, through Google, Bing or Yahoo is they are not going to land on your home page if they're searching for um, best place to find uh, you know or let's just say a plumber best plumber in Somerville New Jersey chances are they're going to come to a page for that plumber who's specifically talking about Somerville New Jersey so in that case it's always important to make sure that you have enough pages that the search engine can, can find that's why I don't like those one page websites, right? With the one page website, you're given one chance to be found for everything that you do. And realistically, a web page, each individual page can only be optimized for one keyword phrase. So that's why having all that content out there is going to be really good. Um, so in the case of when you do have a homepage and everybody has a homepage, it's best just to make it a short little overview of the organization, the business, the author, whatever is kind of the important pieces at a highlight. It's definitely not meant to give you a regurgitation of everything that you do. Okay, so don't be too concerned about the homepage. Be more concerned about optimizing each individual page for the information that's supposed to be on there. Now, with that said, another great question that came in was, um, the purpose of a landing page and key things that sh should go on that. So I'm going to define landing page in several different ways because people talk about this in many different ways, right? So a landing page can be, and I've heard people talk about it as the page that you land on, 
right? So that could be your home page. That could be the page in which they find you when they search through Google, right? In that case, landing page means nothing. It's just a regular web page. In the traditional marketing sense, a landing page, an opt-in page, even a sales page, a squeeze page. These are all terms that people use when they're talking about funnels and when they're talking about offers and having people um, provide information. So a landing page, squeeze page, opt-in page, it's all designed for one thing and one thing only, and that's to get somebody's email name, perhaps, um, maybe phone number, depending on what it is that you're, you're offering, and that's it. So this might be, hey, get your, your five-point checklist to, to know who the best dog groomer is in town or the top three things that you need to do for any home repair, right? You've seen these where people are offering something for free and of value in exchange for your name and your email. And then there's typically an automated process behind the scenes that will automatically send out that report, that video, whatever it is, um, to the person who signs in, who opts in, hence opt-in page. And then that gets them on your email list so that you can continue doing email marketing and follow up with that. So when it comes to those pages, again, opt-in page, squeeze page, landing page, um, you know, if we think about squeeze page, the idea is it's to squeeze, probably not the best term, but to squeeze that information out of somebody, right? And generally speaking, things that you don't want. So I know the question was, what should it have? Some of the things that it shouldn't have are your traditional menu that goes along the top of the page. On an opt-in page or a landing page, the only thing they can do is sign in or leave. You don't want them clicking all over the place because that defeats the purpose of having that page to get that information from them. Um, so you don't want that. You don't want links to check out other things on there. Again, the sole purpose is to get them to sign in uh, or sign up, excuse me. So the things that are important, number one, is going to be that form that they can put in their name and email address, um, phone number. You know, I've seen some that have all that information, name, email, address, phone number, um, first child name. The more information that you try to get from somebody, the least likely that they will provide it and they will just leave. So you don't want to ask a whole lot of information and get that from them. You can do that in subsequent follow-up conversations with them either on the phone if you do get their phone number or in emails and just asking them or sending them another email with um, almost a survey to find out what their interests are. And that would then help you what's known as segment your list. So if you're a veterinarian and you put um, you, know, you give them a checklist for top places um, or the top five things you should do when renting an apartment with a pet, right? To allow the landlord to feel more comfortable. I don't know, I'm just making this up now. Once you have that, when they sign up for that, you have no idea if they're a cat owner, a dog owner, a lizard owner, an ostrich owner, right? Who knows what they have? So in subsequent emails, you can send them out an email that says, hey, by the way, what kind of pets do you have? And give them a little checkbox that they can fill out. That way, if they pick that they're a dog owner, you can and should then send emails about dogs and not send emails about cats, right? That's such a dividing conversation for some people. Oh, dogs are better than cats. So keep that in mind when you're, you're trying to work with your email marketing. Um, other things that should have is certainly compelling information for them to sign up and give you their name and email address, right? It sounds simple enough, but that's your chance to say, here's why you need this report. Um, for something that you're offering for free, it doesn't have to be something that goes on and on and on and on. The typical rule of thumb is the lower the price, the less information you get them. If you're trying to sell them, let's say, a $2,000 course, by all means, you need a lot of information to help persuade them and to address their pain points and let them know why this is something that they need, right? So if it's just something for free, you know, maybe just a couple paragraphs on that page, nothing too extensive that's going to make them make their head explode, go, oh my gosh, this is too much information just reading to find out why I should get a two-page report or something. Um, um, and then another question that came in, uh, tying all of this together, right? Having a good website, what's on a good homepage, 
Um, what's the purpose of a landing page? Is what's the best way to get your website found? And that is the sixty-four thousand. Well, sixty-four thousand dollar question. I think I'm dating myself with it. It's probably more like the million dollar question these days. And if you don't know that reference, you're definitely too young. And I'm talking to you, so you know who that is. Um, so, how do you get found? You want, you know, this is a whole topic on SEO, and we've talked about this before. Check Relax Teams, you can see where those uh, SEO rich conversations are uh, to get that information. But some of the basics are make sure your site is optimized for the search engines, make sure you're telling people about your website. If you build it, they won't necessarily come. You need to advertise. You need to tell people. You need to put it on all of your brochures. Stick it in your email signature. Um, send people there. Have content on there that you can link to so that they'll be able to find out more information about something and that drives traffic to them, right? Um, it's easier to be found when people know about you. How do people know about you? You tell them, right? And this is all things that... You, that you can do for free, we're not even gonna address the whole paid advertising or paid for click or advertising on Google, being Yahoo search engines or websites or banner ads or anything like that. That's certainly possible to do as well. All right, so that's that covers the questions that came in. Does that raise any other questions that somebody has? I have a question. Yeah. Uh -huh. um you always have great questions, Desiree. So <laughs> can you tell the group um, what the legalities of having like certain things on the website, like a privacy policy page or the copyright in the bottom left hand corner that you see all the time? Can you talk a little bit about that, about that? Yeah. So I'm not a lawyer, not an attorney. I don't play one on TV and you definitely probably need to have those. So the, what I consider the legal pages, that legal pack that you should have would be a privacy policy, um, a disclaimer page, a terms of use or terms of service page. And these are going to be uh, describing information that you collect, cookies that you might do, right, which is uh, the whole cookie policy. Um, and we can get into a whole conversation about Europe and GDPR and what they're doing. Um, in some European countries today already, it is illegal to have Google Analytics on your website because that's a privacy infringement over there. So that's a big issue that's coming up these days. Um, but the best thing that you can do is to have those pages that describe what it is that you do, what you collect, how people can contact you um, to get removed from any email ad lists that they might be on from you, uh, any information that they provided into your website, etc. cetera. Uh, even in the US, different states, California, Colorado, Massachusetts, have their own individual legislation that you have to address on these pages. So if anybody has questions about that, I'd be happy to have a one-to-one -one with you and discuss those and, and how, we, how we address those and put those on all our websites. And the copyright uh, notice, just I think the last part that you asked us right yep. you should definitely do that just as added protection so that people know that they can't just simply copy and paste your stuff someplace else it gives you a bit of added protection Thank you, Paul. anything else yeah so regarding the the home page situation um, <clears throat> with the Jake of all trade site it is kind of hard to figure out where to put things and how to get people to go to the places you want them to. So what, what is your advice for, okay, you're at the homepage and now you're not really sure where you want them to go first. How do you decide where you want to take them and how do you get them there from, from that homepage? Yeah, Jake, so your site is a little bit different than most people's because of all trades just means it's almost like a potpourri of different things that you're doing, right? So I'll address that secondly. First, for a typical business, you want to put at the top whatever you feel is the most important thing for your business that people should know about, and then it goes in descending order. When somebody goes to that homepage, they see what's on top, and as they scroll, they are, they're, believe it or not, they're losing interest. So whatever you think is most important goes on top. Now, in your case, 
you know, the same thing is true. There are some of your trades that might be more important to you that you want to disseminate out to people than others. So put those at the top. Um, depending on how many somebody may have, you may want to go with you know, what we call the two column format where you have, you know, let's talk about this in a little block and this in a little block and underneath it, a block in a block. So this way you can get a little bit more content rather than seeing one block, one block, one block or a row of information. So depending on where people are coming from, they can see that. And this is why the home page is not necessarily most important, especially in your case. Each of your pieces should link to a separate individual specialized page for the bookstore, for the legal shield, for right all the different things that you're doing. And that way those get optimized. So when somebody's searching for karaoke New Jersey, up oh, your karaoke page comes up. See all the places that you're going to be at. Makes totally sense. Good. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Yeah. All right. I think that's it. Unless there's anything else. Hope this was helpful. Again, if anybody has any questions, hit me up in the chat or let's get together for a one to one. Thank you, Paul. Well, that was good. Thank you, Paul. <clears throat> Welcome. So with that, um, this is Paul's contact information and you can find him on Teams. And here we go. So my name is Dennis Harabin. I am the founder of Relax Tax. And what we do, we are obsessed with helping people to retain more of what they earn. Specifically, we look at small help to like to help the small business owner um, to, and we have a process in place where we're really able to optimize what it is you earn to make sure that you're able to retain more of it. One of the things that we've done, we got that down to science so much that we've actually, the pain point that most of our business owners have had has been beyond just not what they're paying in taxes and retaining, but to earn more. And that's one of the reasons we created teams and we look at all the different areas within a business and an entity. And tax credits is a huge way where the government gives you money. And that's something that we focus and specialize on. Next up, we have relaxed benefits. I've seen Candido trying to get in. Were you able to get in, Candido? He was bouncing in and bouncing out. I think he has another bad connection today. So Candido is one of our uh, partners here with Relax Benefits that really helps people, uh, again, helping business, small business owners to retain more of what they earn. Uh, overall, we found that the benefits area was a huge pain point for individuals. So, and we really break it down to three sections. It comes down to your uh, health and wellness, all those employee benefits that you think of for health and wellness, your tax advantage, Specifically, as a small business owner, there's a number of tax advantages that you can have when we talk about the credits and things by using the benefits area of your, of your business to do that. And then finally, there's employee retention. Anyone with employees right now, they know the hardest thing is to find them, get them, and retain them. And benefits is a huge piece of all that. So that's where relaxed benefits come from. A lot of this stuff, it doesn't cost you a dime. You're paying for it. You're just not getting the service. Next up, we have Desiree. Hi everyone, my name is Desiree Halleck and I own Clarence Services, which is a marketing agency for startups and small businesses. And we offer digital marketing services to uh, small growing companies. And um, we teach them that they don't have to boil the ocean to have an effective growth plan. We offer anything from uh, content marketing like email, uh, send social media, blogging and videos. We do uh, fractional CMO services, um, and uh, you can check us out at clarentservices.com and our five-minute marketing with Clarent series on YouTube. Next up is Jake. Good morning, everyone. Jake Miola, Jake of All Trades. Um, primarily working with Legal Shield and ID Shield, uh, helping to empower individuals, families, and small businesses with the uh, entirety of their legal rights at their fingertips, essentially providing them with an entire law firm to help make sure that they can navigate um, both personal life and business uh, without issue. I also run an online secondhand bookstore called royalreadersbookstore.com. We actually have a sale going on until Monday at midnight for Memorial Day. Uh, anything over 10, uh, you spend over $10, it's 20% off the entire store. So definitely come check that out. I'm also a karaoke DJ, and we've got a lot of great gigs coming up soon. So check out my website, Jacob Alter trades.info and you can check the events calendar to see where I'll be at next. And next up we have George. 
Hey, hey, good morning, everyone. Yeah, George with uh, Caring Transitions. If you're selling your house or simply downsizing, you need to call us. We, uh, we can help you sort through, figure out what's, uh, what are your household contents, what has value and can be sold. We run estate sales, we do appraisals and uh, auctions, and then uh, anything that can't be sold, donated, or you're not taking with you, uh, we do the final house clean out, emptying the house of all its contents so that it can be uh, put on the market and sold. Uh, we also have a consignment shop in New Providence where we'll be holding an open house uh, this Thursday, tomorrow from 11 to 1 o'clock. And I'll put the address for that in the uh, chat. Next up is Desiree. Oh, Danelle, I'm sorry. Hi, everyone. I'm Danelle Bingle from Uppy Dance and Fitness, um, which is a fun and supportive primarily online fitness community. We work with busy, real people who have trouble um, maintaining an exercise and nutrition routine, often people who spend so much time taking care of everyone else that they don't take the time for themselves. After 30 years in the fitness industry, we know what works and we really enjoy helping people because behavior change can be hard. So non-judgmental accountability is really important. And because I know it's hard to recommend me to people if you're not sure what I do, we're now going to offer um, free dropping classes and a complimentary personal training session for any of you guys who would like to come check it out. I'll give you my info in the chat. That's Danelle Bingle, Upbeat Dance and Fitness, and Rochelle is next. Good morning, everybody. My name is Rochelle DiGrisenzo. I'm a physical therapist. My practice is The Healing Journey, and I help people live a pain-free, active lifestyle without pain medications, multiple trips to the doctor, or multiple injections. And I do that using a modality called John Barnes Myofascial Release, which is a hands-on body work that really looks at the whole person, body, mind, and spirit. And I work with my patients to really get to the root cause of their problems. The symptom that they're coming in with is just the tip of the iceberg. So we really look to get underneath that and to the root cause of the problem. It is a journey to get better, but your body knows how to heal. And I help people do that. Um, you can find more information about me on my website, the healing journey, mfrpt.com. And you can also book sessions right on my website there. Thank you. Oh, next is Tracy. Good morning, everybody. Tracy Spiaggia with Slingshot Health Coaching. Uh, I am a brain health specialist. I work with individuals and families struggling with all different types of mental health challenges. I mean, we turn on the news yesterday and another horrific headline that highlights the mental health crisis that we are all um, finding ourselves in. So I help fill the gigantic gap that now exists between the Western allopathic approach to uh, symptom relief um, by addressing diet, lifestyle, relationships, trauma, um, and uh, we just um, come together to try to fill uh, the holes that exist in a, a certain person's um, lifestyle to try to rehabilitate and heal the body and brain, and along with that, the relationships. You can find me at slingshothc.com and on all social media handles. And up next, we're going to be learning about business on a browser. Yeah, sure. So last week, uh, when I talked about business on, on a browser, I talked about the benefits of being able to go anywhere with your business and still have access to it. You know, the other thing that's really important about uh, using a service like us with Bizona, business on a browser, is that... You know when you work with Apple products, everything just works. It's seamless. You don't have to cobble, you know, your your database with your emails, with your shopping cart, with um, text messaging. Everything is in one central location, and it works seamlessly. So if you're struggling with your business, getting all these different software applications and things to work together, check us out. Give us a call. And next up is Candido, who is. Not here yet, right? Still having troubles. Yes, I got. Hello, everyone. Uh, I am Jessica Dale, owner of A Place at Home, serving Somerset, Hunterdon, Morris, and Union Counties. We provide customized in-home uh, senior care based on the seniors' needs. All the care plans are created by a qualified registered nurse 
and delivered by a compassionate uh, team of caregivers. We also offer care coordination in senior living alternative, which is actually a free personalized service that helps the seniors and the families to identify the senior care community that fits their needs, uh, whether it's independent, assisted, memory, or long-term care. Jessica Dale with A Place at Home. And next up is Maggie. Hi, good morning, everyone. My name is Maggie Morris. I'm the owner of Prim Bookkeeping. I offer bookkeeping and payroll services to small businesses um, located in Bridgewater, but serving the, uni- the entire United States. Um, my goal is to be an extension of your business and deliver accurate and timely financials to accommodate cash flow, profitability, and growth. Uh, you can reach me at primbookkeeping.com. And next up is Wendy. Good morning, everyone. I'm Wendy Kushnicki. I'm an independent consultant with Pampered Chef. I am your go-to kitchen guru for all of your cooking challenges. Whether you need some new recipes because you need to get out of that mealtime rut, or you need some quality kitchen products that will make it easier for you to get a meal on the table. Um, especially with the cost of groceries right now, going out to eat is super expensive. So I can give you lots of ways to um, save some time and energy getting a meal on the table and save you lots of money at the same time. Wendy Koshnicki, independent consultant with Pamper Chef. Tim's not here today. Sue, I didn't see Sue today. Did I see Sue? I did not. Lisa wasn't here today. And Don, I, you still don't have a card. So Don, you want to go ahead? Yeah, so I was working on it. I didn't finish it. So good morning, everybody. Uh, Don Wallace, Insurance and Essential Services Solutions. Um, I help advise people on uh, most of their insurance needs. Their, their auto, their home, their small business, um, their big business, their life insurance, if they need help with that, um, their health insurance, any of those kind of things. Um, and I also work with them on their essential services, such as their home security, um, their, their wireless, their internet, their TV, um, their ID theft, um, along with Jake, um, and um, um, their solar needs, their energy needs, their, um, their gas and their electricity. Um, the Community Solar is a program that I specialize in, which is to help those who cannot put solar panels on the roof uh, participate in the solar market and at the same time help the environment and um, build um, uh, jobs in the, in the community and help to raise funds for uh, a local charity if they have anybody in mind. Um, a great fundraising opportunity and it's all free. Anyway, Don Wallace, you can reach me at uh, my cell number, which I'll put in the chat and uh, my email address, donwallace76 at gmail.com for now. And uh, United Counties Insurance Group is the uh, is the main office for my insurance stuff. That's it. Thank you. Excellent. Candido, I know you've been having trouble, trouble getting in today. There you go, sir. Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Candido Rodriguez. I'm a financial advisor with uh, Western Mutual. And I help business owners and families bring their dreams and goals to life uh, by helping them develop a financial plan that aligns those dreams and their finances. Um, We've all done some level of planning, whether it's credit card, mortgages, um, savings account, but we have this center approach where we bring everything together, uh, empty the financial uh, the financial uh, shoebox and make sure that everything there works out, uh, you know, to, to, towards advancing our plan. Uh, this unique approach takes a focus on key activities that will take us further than ever been before, helping you planning today for the future while living uh, plenty. And finally, we have Project Scholarship. Project Scholarship is a 501c3 nonprofit um, supported by relaxed teams. What what the focus of of Project Scholarship is helping students to go from classroom to career with less debt and to be able to help them to have, um, to be able to get into companies like yours, uh, small businesses, all size businesses. What we found is that students are so riddled with debt that small scholarships, micro scholarships weren't even impacting. They weren't even thinking about um, the impact with no idea of what the debt, multi-generational debt will be doing to them down the road. 
We do have, and we have been working on apprentice programs, which have been working out really well for students who want to skip the debt altogether and get right into the workforce. And with, you can check it out at projectscholarship.org. And with that, that is the end of our session for today. Want to feel free to reach out, join us, grow with us, grow with the team. We're here about supporting each other um, and helping each other to grow our businesses. Every Wednesday, you can find us here at 8 a.m. Just go to relaxteams.com slash CNJ and you can click the link to join our Zoom sessions. Thank you.